Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a mom and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. And today I am watching Reacher Season 2, Episode 1. And wow, it's here. It's finally here. After Season 1 ended of Reacher, I love that series. I love that character. I've never read the books. And so I'm so happy it got renewed for a second season. And I have not watched really anything about this. I haven't watched the trailer. I know what it's about. I read that it was about his special investigations unit and that I guess someone is after his team and I think he reunites with them and they try to go after the person who's trying to kill them all. And so that means that we're going to see Neely again, which I think is the only character that is going to be recurring from season one, which makes me sad because I loved Finley and Roscoe. Um, but I love Neely, so I'm really glad that we get to see her. I loved her interactions with um, Reacher in season one. I can't wait to see more of it in season two, and I can't wait to see what the other team, what his other teammates are like, in um, you know the special investigations unit. Like I think he was with them for ten years. I think he mentioned in season one he's known Neely for ten years. So. I think he's been with most of his team, maybe close to that time, maybe a little less um, or maybe a little bit more. I don't know, but uh, for a good amount of time and they were a unit. And I know there's a special camaraderie with uh, men and women at, in during wartime in, in their units. And so I really can't wait to see that interaction, see that kind of side of Reacher. We saw Reacher after he came home, after he served and uh, his civilian life. And I don't know how long he was lift, living that kind of drifter life, but uh, I'm very interested to see what he's like when he was in the military. Um, does he smile more? Is he a little bit more, is he more serious? Is he more not so serious? He was younger, so maybe he was, you know, a little bit looser with the talking, like maybe he talks more, like I, I, I don't know. Maybe he changed as the war went on. But um, anyway, so I can't wait. I'm so happy that they dropped three episodes. I'm going to try to binge watch all three and get those reactions to you as fast as I can. But no promises. <laughs> so it really, really depends on my shoulder and, you know, how fast I can edit and get these out to you. So, well, let's get started. I can't wait. Ready? Uh, let's get started in three, two, one. Play. 100,000 years ago, there were people who stayed by the campfire and people who wandered pretty sure I'm a direct descent another wandering type. You think? It's just who I am. Is this directly after Margrave? Like season one? No, right? What the? Whoa, someone just dumped a body. Oh, it's gonna... Oh! Oh. Oh. Yeah, no one survived that. That that's definitely dead. Dead body. I'm guessing a member of Reacher's old team. No. Somebody's threatening her. Don't turn around. I can help you. You've been carjacked, right? My child is in the back seat. Oh, shit. Gun? <sighs> Stay here. This won't take long. Good. Kick their ass. Reach your style. Come on. Your mom better hurry the fuck up, kid. Or this is gonna go bad for both of you. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey. Oh, this poor kid is like crying. Like, oh my god. Go in the bank, call the cops, give them these guns in the car. Wait, who are you? Someone who prefers not getting involved. <laughs> I got your message. One tenth, ten thirty. At a stress call. Stress call and airfare. I need you to come to New York ASAP. Calvin Franz was murdered. I'll let you know when I land. Okay, I gotta ask. What the hell kind of unit did Major Reacher put together here, huh? We got a bean counter from Accounting Services. Ooh! Gas jockey from Bolt. She's Tool. from a show that I like. Dave Matthews, Grandpa Moses, and uh, a couple of guys from... Uh, we got names. Ah, Sanchez and Orozco. Which one's Orozco? He's the Angelino job. And who are you besides a guy who talks too much? David O'Donnell. And no offense, Pops, but uh, why are you here? Well, he's going to kick your ass, man. I can feel it. Both pistol and rifle class. Army wanted a unit for particularly complex matters when they arose. To do that, I need special investigators. Not generic MPs. 
Straighten up these boxes, move these old tanker desks in the middle of the room. <laughs> now. Let's go. You don't have to call me Major, but you do have to move your ass when I say so. Get to it. Seriously, man. Your commanding officer gives you order, you do it. Hop to it. What? What's with you? Been a minute since Margrave. Been two years, seven months, 19 days. What? You look good. That long? I look the same. Wow. I did not expect that time jump. Went missing after leaving his home in Brooklyn about a week or so ago. Body was found in the Catskill Mountains. The well, force up there is like 20 cops. How'd you find out? Got a call from Angela. Bronzy's widow. Bronze was married? Yeah. Fun wedding. Chocolate fountain. He had a son, too. You didn't know? Life moves on when you're away, big fella. He wasn't just murdered. He was tortured. Nothing but mucus in his stomach. Dehydrated. Oh. No food, no water. Checked out of a plane. He was thrown from a helicopter. He was tortured for either revenge or information. When they were done with him, they dumped him from the sky to avoid ballistics. If he was calling you for help, he may have been trying to get in touch with the rest of the unit. Probably failed. I called O'Donnell, Dixon, Sanchez, and Orozco. No one's answering. Uh-oh. What about Lowry? Killed two years ago in a car accident in Montana. Funeral was sad, but it's good to see the gang again. Franz's wedding, Lowry's funeral. No one told me. No phone, no address. I'm shocked. I'm shocked he didn't keep in touch with his unit. That guy's following him? Uh-oh. He's got the whole team. Who's that? She just met up with the big one. Why are there two people following them? Were any other members of the 110th working with him? I don't know. Maybe there's something in his office. It was trash, too. The cops couldn't find anything there. But from what Franzia was told me, was the special investigators weren't any old group of cops. You do not mess with the special investigators. No. I'm pretty sure that black sedan halfway down the street was outside the diner, too. There's a black sedan on every street in America. No, trust his instincts now. Come on. He's not wrong. He was right about the animal feed. Remember season one? He was right about the animal feed. You gotta trust his instincts. Starling Castro played for the Yankees six or seven years ago. And who's Sarah hmm. Connor? Uh, Ooh, hello, Terminator? Shit. Terminator? Hello? A little inside joke there, because he was, you know, Terminator. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. Very nice Easter egg there. I did not know he was in this. Cool. All right. I'm assuming he's a bad guy. Seems like yesterday. Picture of the unit? Yeah. Awkward. This is very awkward. Well, used to a lively bunch. She doesn't belong here. It's the army. Do any of us really belong here? It's an officer's club. No enlisted. How about I just finish my beer and I'll be on my way, okay, sir? How about you be quiet or adults talking? Damn. Now, it's either she leaves or we drag you all out by your asses. We got 12. You got nine. Well, that's a shame. You were at least three short. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Well, there's nothing like bonding activity like a bar fight, right? Not a bar fight, whatever fight this was. <laughs> Saturday night, so I don't like the one that guy got me. Get a little action. Yeah, bro, get, get <laughs> you know, uh, I shouldn't have been at the officer's club. I know. And why get into a fight over it? To bond them. Come on. He planned it. He knew what was going on. You and I are going to be happen. Are we reach her? Already are, Haley. Tonight, the boys of the 91st learned a very important lesson. That you do not mess with the special investigators. <laughs> you, you do, do not, not mess with the special investigators. <laughs> 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 I love it. You knew that was going to happen tonight. Yes, he did. I knew the 91st liked to drink on Thursday nights and that they're sticklers for the rules mm -hmm. and that they're assholes. <laughs> but now, I know they can all work together. Photo op, commemorate our first day as a unit. Okay, guys, four seconds. Oh, take it easy on your osteoporosis. <laughs> Kiss my <laughs> ass, young blood. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? USB drive? Looks like your post office hunch worked. 
Ever tell you're smart, Neely? Not nearly enough. You know, France was killed over this hard drive, and now you want to go get a gun. Yep. In New York? Good First, luck. Almost everyone who comes into our outreach program gets their fix from the same place. Dumont, just east of Rockaway. Oh, shit. Oh, oh damn. Crazy motherfucker. Oh. Damn. Okay. Oh. Don't mind me. I'll be taking this. And this. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Okay, well, that's one way to get a gun in New York, because you're not going to get it the legal way. <laughs> for the outreach program. Nice. <laughs> I thought he was just going to take it for himself, but nice. It can shine a lighthouse on them, man. Watermarks are flawless. No one will really know who you are. You guys are dead, but man. you know. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Loose threads, man. Someone still there? Gotta be one of the one of the special investigators, right? So you're still using brass knuckles? No more switchblade? Look down. <laughs> hey O'Donnell. Once a year my wife makes us get a cabin in the middle of nowhere. No cell phones, no devices. The horror. Good in theory. Till by the third day my devil children want to kill each other. <laughs> so I got home, check the voicemail, got here as quick as I could. Asshole snapped my toothbrush in half. No, I own nothing. <laughs> Gotta say, pretty pissed about this whole Franzi thing. I kinda love that kid. So, who we killing over it? That's right. Franz was loyal to what he respected. That's it. No nope. shit. This is why he Reacher. 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 Oh, he this respected makes me Reacher. Sick. You can suggest this and outside of this room, I'll deny ever saying it. Who did Franz respect more than anyone? Any Reacher. ball player? Any artist? Who did he hero worship? Reacher. Get the hell out of here. A few weeks into the 110, the kid started cutting his hair like you, talking like you, following you around. He wanted to be you, Reacher. I'm right, right? I'm right. Reacher. That's right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just a list of names, all starting with the initials A.M. All aliases. Keep the same initials so your signature never has to change. Just an A and an M with a squiggle after it, no matter which pseudonym you're using. Uh-huh. Who's got page after page of random numbers? No order, no meaning, nothing. At least to us, for now. Oh. You smell that? Oh, God. Dead body. Caller says Maisie. Oh. Dog? Drank the toilet bowl dry. Dehydration. It's a tough way to die. The only way he doesn't come home is if he couldn't come home. Swan's dead. Boss? Same picture. What are you thinking? Thinking someone's after your team. I'm thinking there's someone hell-bent on taking out the special investigators. And they're coming after us. Good. Damn. That look in his eye. That's his. That's the look that he gets when he's going to start killing people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a great first episode. It sets up the story. We got really good flashbacks of Reacher and his unit. And it was really nice to see kind of the first day, right, of their unit and how they were strangers and basically Reacher's genius idea of, of team bonding, which is to get into a fight with this other unit, which I thought was awesome. It was just amusing to see that's what would bond them together. But I, I understand it. It's like once you have a con common enemy right? Then you kind of band together as a force to defeat that enemy, right? But when you don't have that common enemy, you're just going to fight against each other or antagonize each other or whatever. So, you know, Reacher's a smart guy and that's basically what he did to get his unit together. So good on you, Reacher. You, um, and I, I honestly thought they were together for longer. I thought that he said in season one that he knew nearly about 10 years, if he first met her when he formed the special investigators and they said that was two years uh, or several years before, you know, I guess what happened in season one, I think is the timeline. And he's saying that season one was two years ago, which I was shocked by the time jump. Was that correct? I may have to go back and check because I could have sworn he said Margrave was two years ago. Which means, what happened? He didn't connect or do, you know, keep in touch with, with Roscoe and, and Finley at all? <laughs> like, 
I guess it was a, a really very thin hope that I thought that he would keep in touch with them, but I guess not. But I really am still surprised by um, how many years have passed by since he's even talked to her. Apparently, it's been two years since he's spoken to Neely. So I'm really shocked um, by how much he's distanced himself from his unit, as well as, I guess, um, Roscoe and Finley. Uh, He's very much a kind of live in today's, live in the present moment, and not thinking of the future too much or not plans where to go except for where he wants to be the next day. Um, Kind of like how he wanted to find um, Blind Blake and, and, you know, and listen to his music. So he he went where he wanted to. Um, But beyond that, he's very much like in the moment. And still, though, I would have thought, you know, he would have kept in contact at least with one of the unit just to kind of say, okay, how's everybody else? Like with Neely. And Neely could kind of update him on everything. Because Neely seems plugged in. Like she's been to all their life events. They exchange Christmas cards, it looks like. Um, She went to the funeral. She went to the wedding. Like I'm kind of surprised that he he didn't um, at least reach out to someone in the unit maybe once a year or something like that, just to see how everyone's doing. But, you know, I guess life moves on after the 110. I really thought also that they had more years together as a special unit. I was thinking more like five to ten years as a special unit, but it looks like it's a lot shorter than that. It looks like maybe three to five years, maybe three years, more like three years um, as a special unit. Uh, Maybe they'll give us more information about that time period in the next couple of episodes. But I, I really, I guess, going in, my assumption was that they were together for a long time. But um, I guess I was wrong. So I am I was glad to see that. And I can't wait to find out more about the time period and about what the special investigators did. And obviously who they pissed off because they pissed off somebody because somebody is out to kill all of them. And so, and we obviously met an assassin of some sort who's all their, his pseudonyms are AM, aliases. And uh, he looks very unassuming, very like a European gentleman, very gentle. And, uh, you know, monsters don't always look like monsters, you know. And um, a lot of times the best assassins are the ones that can blend in and they look like a normal person. You know, these are the these are the uh, the most dangerous psychopaths, you know what I mean? So I'm going to find out more about this person. I don't know why people were tailing them. Is the assassin we, who we saw in the airport, is he related to the two people who are following uh, Neely and um, Reacher? Or are they the ones... I'm assuming they're the ones that trash the rooms. They're the ones that ask the hotel about the, them, their room, and where they were staying or whatever. So I'm assuming that those two people are the ones that um, trash the rooms. As well as trashed uh, the office of, of Franzi. So... Um, yeah, so we have some players that we don't know who they are yet, but we know that they're not the good guys. And we don't know if the other people in his unit are still alive or if they're all dead. I'm hoping that there are more that are alive. I would hate for more than half of the unit to already be dead. Oh yeah, so the other woman, the other female in the unit, the reason why I said I recognized her was because she was in a show, I don't remember the title, but it was a show where the convicts, were used to help the police as uh, investigate certain crimes or whatever, da da da, as a unit, as a group, and uh, they would take um, a year off their sentence or something like that. They would they would earn time off their their sentence, and it was like a two season um, show, but it was really good, and I really liked that show, and I think she was on either the first or second season. And I really liked her. So I'm excited to see the actress in this show. I really hope she's a cool character. I'm sure she is. I hope she's a cool character. I hope we. I hope she's not dead, um, and I hope she has more of a part than just the flashbacks that we see. You know, I want to see more of his unit in present time and not just in flashbacks. So, it's crossing my fingers that uh, his unit is alive. And let's move on to the next episode. Thank you for joining me. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this episode, what your thoughts were, and your predictions. And I will see you next time. Bye.